what is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching pay to drive and pay to drive vlogs day number 1626 coming at you proudly presented by pay to drive store.com links down below go check it out if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you my friends are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy so get started right now for free Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, everybody, please hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Takes half a second. In fact, leave a quick comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style, and here we go. All right. So this comes from James and they said, uh, hey Pete, my name is James Travis. I've been a dasher for a little over three years and never had an issue with pay until today. Uh, I wasn't going to write you, but I'm just frustrated. I had a double order from Bed Bath & Beyond. It paid $17. I didn't look at the mileage. Very important that you look at the mileage. Just happy to get a nice order. Oh, I've been subscribed to you since I started dashing and thank you for all your updates. You're very welcome. Anyway, when I picked up the two orders, I saw that they were out of town. One was for 10 miles and the other was about 20 miles one way. Yikes, 30, 30 miles for 1750, not good. When I was delivering the first order, I saw it paid 675. So I figured the second one would pay the difference adding up to 1750. The second one said 675 also. I was already on the road and figured maybe a tip would be added after drop-off. Before I hit complete delivery on the second one, I called DoorDash support and asked why the difference of $4. The rep said when I accept an order, it leaves the system. That's not true because I do a lot of grocery runs and always have, have to have them mark as picked up and give me the address well after I accepted the offer. Anyway, the rep said it would be added when I ended my dash. I kept him on the phone and ended my dash. Nope, 1350. I know it's just four dollars, but it's the principal. He said, "Give it 24 hours." I said, "No, that's wrong," and I hung up. I called again when I got home and got another rep and said they have no idea how much the order paid. I'm asking you, is that true? Then she asked if I took a, a screenshot of the order. What? I said I didn't think I had to, which you shouldn't have to, James. But drivers are doing it now because of this exact reason. Anyways, has this happened to other drivers or you? A big company can't pay the right amount. There was no tip from either order. So I guess I got used to make $4 for DoorDash. It's just not right. Now we have to take screenshots. Do you? I've been, I don't, I do not take screenshots. I've been a top dasher since I started, except for one month when the rep told me they crunch numbers on the third of each month, another lie. Anyway, thanks for reading this and thanks for the videos, James. Now, what I think happened, James, is you may have been tip baited, okay? That $4 may have been on one of those orders and the customer just decided, eh, you know what? I'm just gonna take that $4 back just because I want you to travel all this distance. What a lot of customers have been doing, now I'm not saying this is confirmed what I'm saying here in this situation, but one of the scenarios I've seen in this particular situation is that, uh, you said you had to go 10 miles on one, 20 miles on another. Maybe the one that was 20 miles, the person put a $4 tip because they knew it was a far distance, okay? You mentioned it was Bed Bath & Beyond. So maybe that Bed Bath & Beyond was the closest one to that customer. They didn't wanna go a long distance to pick up whatever the item was. So they figured, ah, I'll throw the $4 on there. And then when the order gets dropped off, I'll just take it back because I believe they have 24 hours or 48 hours to adjust the tip to add or take it away. And I think that's what happened to you here because when the reps were like, we don't know what happened, you know, it, sometimes they're being honest. They really have no idea what happened or they're just trying to get you off the phone because they don't want to start going into details. Either way, we know that support is not 100% reliable. Let's be honest. I, I could go into that in more detail, but you guys probably already know the deal with that. So, I'm gonna just say straight up, I think you got tip baited. That's my guesstimate here, okay, based on the scenario. So drivers, dashers, what do you think <coughs> happened to James 
why he was shorted that $4. Do you think he was tip baited? Do you think there was a glitch in the system? Do you think something else happened? Let me know down below in the chat or the comments. And of course, if any of you guys ever have anything you wanna share with me, a comment, a topic, a question, a story, an article, whatever you got, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me or for a quicker response, you guys can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or the pin top comment. Uh, definitely go and check it out. Any of you who sign up as a patron, as my way of saying thank you, is I will give you guys moderator privileges on my channel and I will give you shout outs at the ends of all my videos like I'm gonna do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey Pete, I heard my name. We have our tier five driver, Ron Grubb, followed by John Birchfield, David Moore, Angela Counts McCarty, Brian Pomeroy, Sean Gibson, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, April Jewett, Alan G. Van Horn, Nick Gilroy, Drew Hanor, Todd Rosemanith, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Reisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Chadrick Howell, Brian Richardson, Kayla Quintero, Candace Mitchell, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, Rebecca Swenson, and Melody Longs. So huge shout outs to every single one of you out there. Really appreciate everybody. If you guys wanna sign up, links in the description or the pin top comment. Who's gonna be the next patron? Maybe it will be you, let's find out. And moving right along, I hope you're all uh, taking advantage of that app called Get Upside so you can save a lot of money on your gas. Links in the description or the pin top comment where it says get the free gas app. Once you click on there, it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you have. And then from there, what you do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas called get upside links in the description make sure to download it today and of course moving right along if you guys want to get one of these classic ptd mod squad paid to drive shirts they're available now at paid to drive store.com links in the description of the pin top comment we have lots of brand new designs colors sizes you name it we probably have it on sale every day at paid to drive store.com go check that out Right now, links down below. If you made it to the end, leave a comment saying end 456, E-N-D 456, just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, if you wouldn't mind it, everybody, uh, subscribe to my other channel, Team PTD, where I post more paid to drive style content just like this. Links are down below or do a YouTube search. Team PTD, subscribe and tap the bell. <coughs> Excuse me. Hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a quick comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.